come with a little warning at the beginning, like, do you have pasta available to you? Yeah. Uh, if not, stop, go to the store, uh, get set up. And if I... Great pleasure to speak with you both. Nice to meet hey, you. Nice to meet you. Hi, William. Congratulations on the film. Like the the emotions that it captures are just so earnest. And I know that, you know, for you, Enrico, you're connecting with real emotions. You're connecting with, with a real story. So if you could walk me through, what are the challenges in making a real, like making those real emotions pay out on screen? Because obviously you can't just sit there and make a documentary of your life. You have to kind of separate yourself from it. So can you, can you guys walk me through the working together to make a, a personal story, something, something different and while also connecting with something real? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, there's a wonderful paradox there of, of needing to find a very specific and personal and then the belief that when you do it, there's usually always a lot of connection and so it becomes universal. And it, it starts really when you pitch it and you kind of go like, I had a friend like this. And he was a troublemaker. I was shy. And people like, I did too. Or, oh, I was the troublemaker. I dragged my friend in it. And so it's important to kind of try and capture something that does feel uh, very relatable. Not that we think about it the way, but I think it happens by being specific and authentic. So that was that I knew the hardest part then is still how do you make this into a movie, right? What are we saying about friendship? That was a journey. That was a journey because you have to collaborate. You have to, you know, I came from a short that uh, La Luna that I made that I fully storyboarded and we made it. It, it was actually amazingly not preparing for <laughs> making a feature because the feature you have so much more collaboration um, with a writer with, you know, and so the key thing becomes how do we find New, you know, how do we relate to this idea? And people did relate, which was great. And then what are we saying with those emotions? And so it was really wonderful to dig deeper at what does friendship do? Um, we see each other, we accept each other. We are the ones who sometimes know even better uh, are, are, are that you shouldn't listen to your insecurities. We kind of almost see with more kindness, people uh, that are not us. And that was something we, we realized we did want to talk about because we're, we can be so harsh to ourselves with our own insecurities. And um, we love that friends are kind of like, you know, those kind of persons that like, don't, don't listen to that, right? The good friends do that. Um, and the, the last big uh, um, kind of, a step that we needed to find was just our ending and our ending was very personal because I had to go through with that so I feel in many ways when I once I found the ending and that emotion of bittersweet emotion of going toward your future with some joy and feeling of potential but with this sadness of having to leave behind things, leave behind friendships and leave them behind your home. And that sense that actually we have to carry them with us in the way they changed us, in the way they influenced us. So that that actually felt very personal, but also something that made me actually be able to direct it in a more efficient way, in a more you know decisive way, because we, we know what to fight for. We knew that that was our North Star. Um, and so that, that was a bit the experience of it. Mm. And Andrew, yeah, I you, that, oh, go ahead. No, I mean, yeah, in collaborating with each other, I mean, what is it like to, to have to, to work with someone who obviously has a real experience in the back of their mind they're trying to connect to? Do, you, are they, do the conversations become very separated from that or is it constantly about digging into the, the real emotions there? I mean, I think it's an incredibly vulnerable process, especially when you're telling a personal story because everybody is trying to dig deeper, deeper into the emotion of what you experience. I think, you know, it was interesting on this one because Enrico was really asking the question, would I be where I am had I not met Alberto? And it's really digging into that influence of that person and really what that meant for him in his life. But I think Enrico was really successful at separating himself from Luca and understanding the place to mine was the emotion and really being willing to offer the vulnerability while also separating himself and not really getting caught up in saying things like, well, thinking I would never do that. So Lucas should never do that. You know, he really 
freed Luca to be the character that 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 was the best in, for the film. If you got caught up in anything, it feels like what you got caught up is making the pasta look as delectable as possible. <laughs> it's insane that I just want to eat the screen. As I I'm know. Watching the they come with a little warning at the beginning, like, do you have pasta available to you? Yeah. Uh, if not, stop, go to the store, uh, get set up. Yeah. You will need it by the end, yes. yes. Keep <laughs> pasta handy, <laughs> close by. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go make some now. Thank you guys so much. Great pleasure speaking with you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.